so we wanted to talk on this video real quick about the Altes uh, lab that we've been using a fair amount of. We, we use Altes currently for our food IgG panels and they will do a 96 food panel and a 184 food panel and they offer other panels too but mainly I'm just going to talk about those. So IgG is an antibody it's not the classic antibody associated with what you would think of as type 1 allergy. That's IgE. We're using this usually to measure a different antibody, IgG. And the IgG mechanism, and the reason why I like ordering this test, is it can be a very hidden, uh, very delayed response to food, and it can manifest with practically any symptom you can think of. So with IgE, the other one, a lot of times we can figure that out clinically because these are foods that people come in and say if I eat a peanut I'll swell up or you know if I have shrimp I've got to go to the ER. This, these are you know fairly immediate symptoms where you eat the food and you, and you know that you're reacting to it pretty quick. IgG is just the opposite. It can be a reaction that occurs relatively within a matter of minutes to hours but more commonly it can be delayed and it can be delayed up to four days and so that's very tricky and that can even fool an elimination diet, which is still kind of the gold standard for, for assessing whether a food is causing a symptom. But the problem with IgG is maybe you, know, you take the food out of the diet, maybe you feel better, maybe you notice something, maybe you don't, and then when you challenge the food back in, possibly everything's okay that day and the next day, maybe even the next day, and then you're having a bad day for whatever symptoms you know are coming up. And by that point, you've eaten other things, and it's very difficult to actually figure out it's what you had a few days earlier that's actually underlying the problem. So usually with the results of this test, people will come back and go, wait a minute, these are some of the foods that I'm eating. I'm, I'm okay with these foods. And because it's not producing an immediate reaction, that, that's the difficulty. That's why it's so hard to figure out otherwise. So of all the blood panels for, and, and here I'm going to pause for a second because I don't even know that I would call it food allergy. It, it's more of a hidden reaction or more, you could call it a sensitivity or, or intolerance. But um, it's a way of looking for a hidden, delayed, underlying food that's causing an issue and contributing to a problem, and yet it's so hidden it's difficult to figure it out any other way. And so, um, pretty good, pretty good panel.